Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today in this video I am going to show you how to do a active directory migration. So basically active directory migration from Windows Server 2012 or to Windows Server 2022 step by step. So there are multiple ways you can do the active directory migration and there are multiple uh, type of requirements also when you have to migrate your active directory from Windows Server 2012 or any other older operating system to your operating system. So definitely Windows Server 2012-2022 uh, is the latest operating system which supports uh, which is released by Microsoft. So uh, if you are running older operating systems in your infrastructure and your domain control is not up to date to your operating system then there is a multiple uh, way you can do the migration from the, your Active Directory infrastructure which include also going to be a basically your uh, DNS servers and few other services also. So migrating to newer operating system infrastructure uh, from on the Microsoft uh, running uh, which is running on Microsoft the basic feature you need to understand uh, before migration what are the impact which is going to be uh, happen on your environment. So let's say if you have a uh, really old operating system which is connected to your environment like Windows Server 2003 and all then you need to check how you will mitigate those issues if you are running Windows Server 2012 uh, and any other operating systems which is older than which does not support with your Windows Server 2022 so how you can mitigate that so I'll recommend go ahead and migrate everything to latest operating system and get the, all the uh, latest features available within the, uh, within the Windows Server so, so basically if I show you this is my lab environment okay so I have basically four machines so two are running domain control so these both Windows Server 2012 R2 DC01 DC02 and these both are running uh, Active Directory and DNS services and these both are in uh, you can say in same um, site so if you have a multiple site the procedure for upgrading the domain control is going to be remain same so it does not matter if you have a multiple domains or if you have a, a multiple site how you can do that the process is state forward and same for my upgrading one server or ten servers so the, the only difference is going to be your way how or scenario how you want to execute your migration so i have a two domain controller which has been absent on com domain and I have two client machines also which is running Windows 10. So I'll show you these machines first. So I'm running this infrastructure inside my VMware workstation. session. So if you say this is domain control DNS is installed. So this is my Windows 12 DC01 which is running Windows Server 2012 R2 and IP address and other detail you can see. And this is my Windows Server 2012 R2 second machine. Which is again running domain control and DNS services. So if you go here, you'll see IP, you'll see the operating system version and everything. And these are my two client machine which I have joined in the domain labsandform.com. You can see these are joining my domain. So if I show you my domain, so uh, active directory site and services, so you can validate this thing. And domain and users, let me show you both. So, if you can see, I have basically one site which is prod side. Inside prod side, I have two domain controllers DC01 and DC02. So, this is both are replicated to each other. If you have a multiple domain uh, or a multiple domain infrastructure, let's say if you have a child domain or tree domain and things like that the process is going to remain same if you have a multiple sites also it's going to remain same so basically you have to start from some uh, some point right so this is where you can start and if you see here i got my few machines here so these are the computers which i have joined in my domain windows 10 machines i need to put them in work session so here it is you can see my users user 1 user 2 and i got my two domain controls here so this is the infrastructure which i'm going to use in my lab environment to do the upgrade so 
Now, the first thing is most important is a pre request, or you can say the planning or information gathering. So, you need to make sure what things you are using with uh, your active directory or LDAP and all. So, make sure before you take a decision to upgrade your active directory infrastructure, everything in place, and you don't miss anything application which can cause an issue after both the migration so make sure you have everything and second thing make sure you have a healthy backup before installing uh, or upgrading your uh, pdc or you can say the main domain control so this is the uh, uh, basically a microsoft article which explained the upgrading your domain control in your version of windows so it, it says pre request support in place um, like which operating system you can do the in place upgrade is there so ideally you should be able to do all the upgrades if you are running a 64 bit operating system you can perform in place upgrade also <coughs> you can see no new for the domain of function number has been added since this so if if you are running windows server 2016 function level or domain level that is going to be your top mark basically so you can see also rollback function level so uh, if you upgraded windows server for example uh, you can roll back to windows server 2012 but if you have uh, so basically if you have upgraded your uh, function level to 2016 or function level uh, you uh, basically you, <coughs> you will not have option to go back if you upgrade it to 2016 so this is how i'll, I'll give i'll give this link in uh, my description so you can go and refer and this is so basically you can see only 64 version 64 bit version supported upgrades so in place upgrade which i'm talking about so this is uh main before you upgrade you need to put the uh, your domain preparation and forest preparation and all then you can run this so and do refer this uh, link before you proceed for the upgrade and Proper, do proper plan, planning also so this is some important command to check your ad health and infrastructure so you can do the net dom query fsmo and all these things. So i'll show you one by one everything so to check who is your basically pdc and also net you can type net dom information about all the five um, okay, I think it's having some issue okay it's not reflecting mm, okay so now let's put so there may be some driver issue with VMware so <coughs> You can see everything is running on DC01, which is my this server only. So now I'll give you some information about the domain level. So get AD domain. So this will give you all the information about domain level uh, role. So you can see I can computer domain computer default containers computer and deleted object. You can see the and uh, uh, dns rule and all the information i recommend you to go and capture this information before you proceed for the upgrade and also you can see pdc you can see the who is your pdc domain controller red master uh, this is giving all the domain level uh, uh, basically uh, fsmo role information so you can see here also the <coughs> pdc you can see system container user container you can see all the information and also what you can see here one thing I'll show you uh, okay these all the information are basically important you should capture these information or get the information uh, exported in text file so if there is any issue you can refer it back so this is a <coughs> system container user container and all okay so now I'll show you get the forest wise report so ad forest so you can see forest information so forest wide role is running on windows server 2012 r2 forest and you can see other information global catalog server is your global catalog server 
in the domain infrastructure you can see partition data root domain schema master you can see who is running which sites belongs to this server so you can see the sites also if you have a multiple sites you should be able to see all the multiple sites here so this is all now <coughs> Now, so in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, with the scenario one only. So, what we are going to do here? So, in scenario one, there was a, uh, two scenarios. So, next video, I'm going to give you migration to a new domain control, brand new domain control, and you can see that also. So, in this video, we are going to do in place OS upgrade. In place OS upgrade means we are going to run a, um, we are going to upgrade the same server. With the latest operating system from Windows Server 2012 R2 to Windows Server 2012 2022. So for that, what you need to do first thing you need to do a uh, map the ISO. So I'm going to map the ISO for Windows Server 2022. So I go to my desktop, ISO repository, Microsoft. And then I have a Windows Servers. 22 and attach now you can see I have mounted the, this thing so uh, <coughs> I just wanted to show you run the upgrade and I'll show you what are the errors you are going to get if you don't run uh, uh, this thing separation for the forest level and domain level so let's review that also so click next and it's checking for update first thing you need to make sure you have enough space in your c drive uh, basically it's a quite 20 25 gig of space you need to make sure so also if i go here so it's running so windows server 2022 standard desktop edition so which i'm going to do click next i accept and this is the important you need to select key file settings and apps and this is going to give you about the information about upgrades so next so it's checking for updates so i'll show you this thing also if you open you have these files and Support you have AD prep which you will use to the do the preparation for AD and forest. So I'm going to uh, run this wizard as it is and then I'll show you what are the errors you are going to get. And then you can definitely come back here and run the uh, preparation. So I'm going in my D drive just to show you. So CD. Here you can see I'm in the detail. CD support and then I have AD prep here. You can see AD prep dot exe. And the first thing you need to run a forest wise preparation. So forest, just wait for this to check the update. And also, I also recommend run the upgrades during the upgrade of your domain controller so whatever is the latest up, uh, patches and all you will get those also so what you have to do here so go to cd d and then support and encrypt so now you need to run uh, any uh, forest preparation command so AD prep and then forest prep command and it will do the preparation so it's asking to press CT continue again this is not reversible so you need to make sure before running this now you can see it's completing the forest preparation so the command executed successfully 
Now if you go here on the top you will see this. Uh, the current schema version was 69 now it's updated to 88 so this is good now you need to do the forest uh, domain prep so let in turn now adpp successfully updated the domain wise information so this is good now if i go to replace we are ready to do the in place upgrade so just click on install so now this is the normal upgrade process uh, so it will take some time maybe it's going to take 10 to 15 minutes depending on the your uh, compute configuration of your server so i'll wait for uh, <coughs> this upgrade to finish and then we will continue from there so during the reboot it will upgrade it will uh, reboot your system multiple times so just wait and watch everything going smooth in case you find any error then you need to investigate why you are getting error so as of now i'm getting installation perfectly fine so i'll um, <clears throat> resume video once again once the installation is done so now you can see the uh, os upgrade is almost done it's applying computer settings so now you can see we got a login screen so i'm going to login with my password so boom here you are so the upgrade is completed successfully now if you go and see the operating system is upgraded to windows server 2022 and now if you want to run testnet down query fsmo you can run those commands to check everything good or not so you can see everything running on this dc itself which is windows server 2000 12 uh, uh, 2022 now and before it was uh, 2012 so i'll next video i'll show you how to rename this domain control also in case after upgrade you have a requirement to rename your domain controller and again it's a tedious job <coughs> but <coughs> in okay older operating system uh, but now these days it's a state forward with uh, windows server so i'll show you those also so now just can go ahead and verify everything is working fine you can go and launch the dns manager to check and verify the dns is good you can see all the records are there dns is working fine and then definitely you can start these services manually just to make sure everything green and open that directory management uh, user and group and now go and verify your tc01 and you can see the now operating system is upgraded to windows server 2022 so this is good everything looks good here so now i'm going to close this and if you want to verify site and services also so the uh, post upgrade you make sure everything you validated everything and uh, i recommend you to wait for some time few days before touching any other domain control so in case you have any problem in the infrastructure you will get to know soon so uh, let the domain control uh, up, uh, run for at least one week your uh, main domain control which is a, a pdc having pdc and all uh, post upgrade and then if everything goes well uh, goes well then in the second upcoming week or uh, <coughs> basically coming weekend you can migrate you can migrate your uh, other domain controls maybe you can take uh, two or three or one whatever depends on your infrastructure how big your infrastructure is so <coughs> in this video we have gone through this in place upgrade and next video i'm going to show you uh, migrate ad and dns to new server server basically we will uh, we will migrate the domain control uh, we will promote a new dc in infrastructure and demote the old one uh, <coughs> so this is how we are going to do so in this video this this is all so thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always post me on comments or you can post me on my email id i'll try my best to help you guys thank you once again bye bye